Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Jones and today I am making a delicious sweet potato and chickpea curry that you are going to love. It's really easy to make and today I'm making it in the instant pot, but you can also make it on the stovetop or even in a slow cooker. So let's get started. I'm going to start by peeling and dicing about two cups worth of sweet potatoes. Now, sweet potatoes are kind of hard to peel, and if you don't mind having the peel in there, you can actually leave it in. It works quite well in this recipe, but I decided to go ahead and peel them today. So I very carefully just peeled off the skins with a knife. And now I'm going to dice that into small pieces, but you don't want to make them too small or too large. Once those are done, I'll set them aside and then I'm going to start dicing my onions. I'm using yellow onion for this today, but you could also use white onion or probably even red would work if that's what you have on hand. I'm dicing it into very small pieces, but if you like larger chunks, you can do that as well. Next, I'm just adding a tablespoon of coconut oil to the Instant Pot, which I have on the saute setting. Then I'm going to add my diced onions and let those cook down until they're slightly translucent and starting to soften. Then I will add my sweet potatoes. Then I added just a pinch of salt because it helps kind of get the flavors going and it's always good to season your food as you're cooking it because it creates a little more depth of flavor. While that's cooking down, I'm going to slice up some red bell peppers. Of course, if you prefer, you can use green bell peppers or even yellow, but I had red on hand and it actually makes it a nice colorful dish. I'm just going to set those aside and then I have a few other ingredients I'm going to add, including some garbanzo beans or chickpeas. So here's a tip. When I open my can of beans, I always save the juice. I just drain it into a jar and save it for later because it's a great ingredient in vegan baking. Believe it or not, it's a great replacement for eggs. I'm just going to throw those into the Instant Pot along with my red bell pepper and also some green peas that I thawed from frozen. You could also use green beans in this recipe. I'm also going to be using some coconut milk. I'm using reduced fat here, but full fat coconut milk is actually really great in this recipe. It makes a nice thick curry. Unfortunately, I lost the footage for putting in the next few ingredients, but we're also going to add this Better Than Bouillon. This is the roasted garlic base, which is amazing. And if you can find it, I highly recommend it, but you can use any flavor of bouillon that you like. I'm also adding some cornstarch to thicken this up. Since I am using the reduced fat type of coconut milk, I'm using two tablespoons of cornstarch and just adding a little bit of water to create what we call a slurry. You just wanna mix it until you get all the lumps out and then add that into the Instant Pot with the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to be eating this with some rice and I went for a walk while this was cooking. You can see it's been sitting for a while, but that's the beauty of using the Instant Pot. You can just set it and let it go and go walk your dog or do some chores or whatever you need to do and come back and your food will be all ready to go. And this is such a delicious recipe for fall and winter because it's warming the spices in the curry, which I just realized I also forgot to show uh, the curry powder that I put in. So I did use um, two tablespoons of curry powder, but you can also use Masaman curry paste. If you have that, it is absolutely delicious in this recipe. So sorry about that. I just lost some footage somehow. So um, yeah, the whole recipe is on my blog at vegerarchy.com. So go there if you wanna make this so you get the full recipe. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy some of this. I also sprinkle some nutritional yeast on just about everything I eat. And yeah, this was really yummy and hearty and warming on a nice chilly fall day. 
So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, leave me a comment, and if you make this recipe, take a picture and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creation. So that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Peace.